Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas day three. Oh my gosh. I feel so good right now. Like, even though I've been feeling, like every time I get up, I'm just like, I could sleep for like an hour or more or so. And I'm like, no, just get up, who cares? And then I get up and I just feel great. And I feel so great right now, especially because yesterday was so draining being on the road all day. And so today I'm just going to chill all day. All I'm gonna do is knit on my Sunday sweater. That is it. <laughs> like, that is all I'm gonna do. And this is going to be the chillest vlog. I'm not going to do much in this vlog to be honest because you know sometimes you have those days where you just chill and that's it and today i just want to chill and oh my gosh i have yarn coming in today yarn came in yesterday let me show you a sock set from red door fiber studios oh, look at this first of all this is a fat skein okay and this is a big mini this mini is 93 yards i feel like it's a big mini like to me because usually minis are like i don't know 90 yards and this is 93 it's called sad girl autumn and oh my gosh i'm just like look at the look at the look at the colors in this just so beautiful you can really see it at the bottom here it is literally the epitome of autumn and even though winter is literally on its way I don't care like I had to get this this is just she only had like 12 skeins of this Kahila and I copped it so quickly it was sold out in less than like 30 seconds or a minute like she released it at what like seven o'clock and by 701 all of them were gone and we got ourselves a skein. So I'm so happy about that because it's so, how do you say when not a lot of people have it? Not exclusive, or maybe it is exclusive. It's such a almost one of a kind that like only 12 people in the world have this now. <laughs> so I'm happy that I got this. I have a sweater quantity of yarn that is coming in today. It is from a newer indie dyer and it was her first launch and I was like oh my gosh let me support her let me get her yarn and I got like a whitish looking yarn and I I'm not into white at all which is like but you're, you're knitting with white yarn right now yes I know because I like to knit with things out of my comfort zone if I didn't I would literally only be knitting with black gray dark brown light gray light brown <laughs> dark green like forest dark green and like that's it like i would just be knitting with dark dark colors and i don't want to do that i want i want i want my knits to have a variety of colors and like i don't want a certain aesthetic i just want everything especially because i enjoy yarn and there are yarns that are like pinks and i don't care for pink but it just looks so pretty i just have to get it you know people always ask me what my yarn taste is or like color palette and i'm just like i don't have one like Personally, yes, I have a favorite type of color that I like, like type of aesthetic. I like the folly vibes of the colors, like the dark browns, dark reds, dark greens, blacks, stuff like that, dark grays. But I don't, I don't always want to see that on my needles, you know? I want to keep things interesting. So that, that's what I'm getting today. Oh, also, I got elastic band. This is huge. I didn't expect it to come in like like a wheel of cheese looking <laughs> they were like look at how big it is but that's good because there'll be there will be enough for me for a while and it is one inch thick at first i was like i want to get something thinner but then i realized my collar is like three inches so one inch is really good to have and <laughs> my cat is sniffing my foot yeah, so I got this for the elastic band. Wait, no. I got this for the collar part of my sweater. And I think from here on out, if there is going to be a folded collar, I will for sure use an elastic band in it so that it stays cinched after I block it. Because last time when I blocked my stuff, my collar stretched out and I was very sad about that. But now, I wonder if I, yeah, I should do it before I block it, yeah, okay. I don't know though. Wait. Oh, I will see. I think it's I think it's before I block it. I put the elastic band in. We'll see. 
yeah so that is what i that is what oh let me show you my sweater i've been working on it this morning i didn't finish the yoke last night because i spent like four hours deep like winding down i was just talking with my family chilling with them for a little bit i was getting food eating food and editing my video posting it that took like an hour and a half to do and by the time i actually got back to my knit it was like 8 p.m and i went to bed like an hour later so i definitely definitely didn't finish it but 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 this morning i got to the last increase in the yoke let me see actually where i am right now because i could be done with the yoke based on the measurement let's see mm -hmm. what do i need 21. <gasps> no way no way oh my gosh i am done with the i'm on the last row that i need to finish the yoke and then I have like a suckinette part before I split for the sleeves. Oh my gosh, wait. That is actually so awesome. Okay, 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 okay. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm literally almost to the stitch marker. Okay, I'm not that close. I feel like it's close though. Like I just have to knit that and then I'll be done with the yoke. Oh my goodness. Okay, but let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Here it is. <laughs> it probably looks the same because, you know, the pattern is the same going down, but it is much longer. Like my boobs are right here and it is right over them. So that means I'm almost done with the yoke. And I have like, after this part, I have two more centimeters to do. And then I will split for sleeves, which is so exciting because then i will just have plain stockinette and that is it tv knit time i don't have to worry about increasing decreasing rib this rib that but this is just so pretty like look at how it just stretches like that listen you see all these like holes or whatever i feel like it's so unavoidable in her pattern it looked like that too so i think it's just part of the charm of the sweater but yes i am on the last row so basically done with the yoke about to split for sleeves i'm going to continue knitting this is a very long intro sorry but i'm going to continue knitting and then at like at 12 i'm going to go live and stream myself continuing this knit hopefully by then i have split for the sleeves <laughs> it is what time is it right now it is 10 30 a.m right now so I have like an hour and a half before I stream. And by then I should definitely have split for the sleeves and started on the body. So I'm excited to do that. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop talking now because I will talk forever and ever and ever. And I guess I'll see, talk to you guys again when I get my yarn. guys my package is here this is from little wing little wing fibers in 
Indy Dyer on Instagram. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Inside packaging, very cute, very cute, okay. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is the cutest, cutest thing ever, okay, oh my gosh. This order has been lovingly packed for Kalila. Oh my gosh, thank you. This is the cutest thing ever. I'm keeping this, it has a discount code on it. We all like discounts around here. <gasps> oh my God. I'm sorry, but oh my gosh. This is what I'm seeing right now. Oh, yearny goodness. <gasps> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, this is so soft. This is so soft, okay, okay. This is a yarn here. It is called Miss Darcy, Mrs. Darcy. It's a Pride and Prejudice themed collection, which I have not read or seen Pride and Prejudice, but apparently people love it, especially when that dude gr clenches his hand like that. That's what I've seen, but yes, this is the yarn i will turn it upside down like this i like i like that part of it oh this is nice let me just show you up close it is like it's like a natural color hello please light just disappear for a second okay there we go like look at this it's like a natural color with pinks all in it and like i said this is not usually a color that i would gravitate to but it was just so nice it's so pretty i just love yarn so i don't care what color it is so littling fibers hand dyed yarns made in the pnw what is that don't know it is eco sock and this is fingering weight yarn because hello i love it it's 437 yards per 100 grams and it is 85 percent superwash merino and 15 percent biodegradable nylon so beautiful I got a sweater quantity, of course, so four skeins. And I got eco sock because, you know, sometimes maybe I would want to make a sock out of the leftovers. Just, someone's calling me. It's Malika. Yes. <laughs> okay. On me, I'm filming right now. And? And? Look, she's trying to get me ah! to take her cat. No paparazzi. No paparazzi. No paparazzi. <laughs> but okay, I'll come get her. Okay, but yeah, I got a sweater quantity. I may want to make socks out of them. Who knows? But you know, I may not because like, I just want to make the nicest sweater ever using this yarn. <sighs> So check, check her out, Little Wing Fibers on Instagram or littlewingfibers.com, okay? This is, this is her label, so you, so you can get like a good, a good look of it. This is it, and then that's, that's the back information. You can see that website. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah, so this is, <laughs> I'm so, oh my gosh. So I told myself I'm not gonna buy any yarn hand-dyed yarn. I'm not gonna buy any hand-dyed yarn. I don't even need any other yarn, honestly. So no yarn until the new year, okay? Any yarn that you see is yarn that I have already gotten and it's just coming in, like this one. I got this last month and it came in today. But yeah, not buying any yarn. I have all, I have all of the yarn that I need for all of the projects that I have planned for the next two months basically three months so I'm good on yarn I won't start buying yarn again until like until like maybe February March so yeah this is the yarn acquisition for today and I am so happy
Hey guys, I have just been knitting, 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 knitting. Oh my gosh, I know. Like this vlog is so chill and simple. I like literally all I did was knit today, but this is how far I've gotten on the sweater. Oh my gosh. Like I have finished the yoke like I wanted. I have finished the yoke. It, stock and it always rolls up a little bit, so I'm trying to show you guys like true length. So the yoke is done. I am on the body part, so now it's just plain stock and it the entire time, which I'm so happy about. I have split the sleeves as well, as you saw. Uh, these are going to be the armholes for people who are not knitters. Once you finish the yoke, you split for the sleeves, so you put stitches on hold. And I'm using my metal stitch holders. And then after the body, we come back and pick up some stitches around the arm and then knit the sleeves. So right now I am on to the body. The stockinette part is looking amazing. Like this transition from this rib, ribbed sunny part to this oh my gosh this is so freaking cool but i'm so excited you guys can see it is fitting very nicely now and oh my gosh oh my gosh i cannot wait hopefully tomorrow i'm going to work on i'm going to work on this like crazy tonight especially since last night i didn't really work on it a lot but tonight i'm going to get so much of the body done i want to have like whoo i don't know a lot done. I don't know how to say it in centimeters because I'm not sure. Do I want like 10 centimeters, 20 centimeters? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but that is it for the sweater. And now it's time for the advent <laughs> calendar yarn. Let me, I have it right here. Day three. So let's see what this one looks like. Okay, okay, okay. Here we are. Whoa! This is so purple. And there is more blue. Look, more blue is in this one. Remember in the previous one, there was like, there was like a little bit of blue in it. This one has much more blue. This is day three. Let me show you day two. Day three. Day two. So this is day three. This is day two. And this is day one. So one, two, three. And this is what it is fading into right now. You can see it goes from like a darkish brownish purplish to like a lighter version of it with hints of blue. And now this one has lots of blue. Day three is on top and day one is right here. So one, two, three, that is what it is fading into right now. I'm so excited to see how, what this fades into. It's looking like it's going like bluish so far. The garage door is going up, but it's okay. Going down, whatever, but it's fine. So we'll see how that turns out. But thank you guys so, so much for watching today. I'm glad you guys are enjoying my vlogs. I'm enjoying filming them and remember, Give this video a big like and subscribe if you're new and you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.